Today, I'm taking the 20 best Premier League Wonder Kids and putting them up against the 20 best La Liga Wonder Kids. It is Spain against England to see which country's league has the best young talent. We are going to have five separate challenges to determine which of these two teams is better. But before we jump into those, let's show you the teams. Starting with the Premier League Wonder Kids who have been placed on Manchester City. So to come up with these teams, I've taken the 20 highest potential players who are between the ages of 15 and 21. And as you can tell, I've upgraded every single one of these players to their full potential. So on the Premier League team, we have 94 rated Erling Holland, 90 rated Saka, 88 rated Fernandez. Take one final look at this full Premier League Wonder Kid team. Because now I'm about to show you the La Liga team. The top 20 La Liga Wonder Kids have been placed on to Barcelona. And their squad consists of 89 rated Ansu Fati, 88 rated Rodrigo, 92 rated Pedri, and the rest of these La Liga Wonder Kids, as you can see, all upgraded to their full potential. You've seen the teams. It is now time to jump in to our first challenge of the video. So to get things started, both of our Wonder Kid teams have been placed in the World Cup. Whoever makes it further in the World Cup will win this challenge and will start off 1-0. Let's first find our teams and find the groups that they have been randomized into. Wait, where are they? <laughs> Wait, did I forget to add them? There we go. Group F is where we're starting. We have the Netherlands. We have the Premier League Wonder Kids, Portugal and Australia. And I'm not gonna lie, that is a difficult group for Australia. They are, they may not even, they might not get a shot off, to be honest. And then all the way down in Group G, England, Belgium, Czech Republic, and the La Liga Wonder Kids. That group might even be more difficult. We simulate all the way through the group stages to see which of our teams made it out. Alright, let's get these results. I would not be shocked if one of our teams did get grouped. Starting in Group A, France and Germany, Scotland and Poland. We have Hungary and Morocco. We gotta, we gotta just go all the way down here. Okay. They're the Premier League Wonder Kids. They've made it out quite easily. And Australia, I apologize. Um, wow. What happened to the Netherlands, man? Yo! Um, Editor Patrick, since you're from the Netherlands, can you insert the meme of Kermit the Frog? jumping off of a building with your face over Kermit the Frog, please. Thank you. Group G, the La Liga Wonder Kids are making it out. They got nine points. Both these teams are so good. This may be one of the best all-star challenges we will do all year. In the round of 16 matchups, see the Premier League Wonder Kids taking on Germany and La Liga Wonder Kids taking on Portugal. Round of 16, game number one. Wow. I mean, the Premier League Wonder Kids are just so high rated. They're also playing three at the back and they've gone on and lost. Germany have just taken down the Brem Wonder Kids, which means all La Liga needs to do is win this game right here and they take the first challenge. If not, we go to gold differential. Oh my God, they lost as well. So I take back what I said. The tiebreaker here since both teams lost in the round of 16 will be whoever has the highest goal score. And we will start with La Liga, whose top goal scorer was Rodrigo Ansu Gavi. They all only scored two goals each, though. So all the Premier League needs to do is have someone who scored more than two goals. And Emil Smith-Rowe scored four. The Premier League Wonder Kids win challenge number one. And before we can get into continuing managing our teams in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to manage teams with top 11. Top 11 is the best free-to-play football management style game out there where you can play with players from around the world. You can even see I'm playing with my friend of my friends list here, Jose Mourinho. <laughs> now I'm here playing on the web browser version, but you can also get this game on your phone as well. The link is in the description, but let me tell you about Top 11. So you can fully customize your squad from the lineup to the formation to the tactics as well. Jose Mourinho's got some advice for us right here. Now there are different leagues and cups you can compete in in Top 11. I'm scrolling through a few right here. You can also create leagues with your friends as well. A lot of different events events here that you can compete in throughout the year. This is just a few right now that you guys get participated. And right now is the perfect time to join Top 11 because they're celebrating their 13th birthday by giving away loads of prizes to the community. And one of my favorite parts about this game is you can completely customize everything from your stadium right here. Everything from the parking lot to the medical facilities, training, youth facilities. And Jose Mourinho is actually on my friends list because him and Xavi Alonso are official faces of Top 11. Yeah. 
sadly, Mourinho's not my actual friend in real life. The link to download Top 11 is in the description and also in the pinned comment. And let me know if you guys play this game and want to be in one of my leagues. I'll start one with some fans. Top 11's been a massive sponsor of the channel for a while, so it would mean a lot if you guys could support them and give the game a shot. Manage your team today and let's get back into the video. Let's now jump into our second challenge of the video where these teams are playing head to head. This challenge is simple. Whoever wins the game wins the challenge. I'm sorry, most of you guys watch this series a million times, but I always have to explain the roles for the new people. And if you're one of those new people, subscribe. Pedri, right there, he says subscribe. Let the match begin. Here is La Liga already. Ansu Fati already scores. And then even five minutes in, Ansu Fati. Oh, what a player. This man is, could he win a Ballon d'Or one day? Comment section, what do you think? And here comes the Prem. Pow. And here comes Holland, who scores as well. This game may have a million goals. Also, just to clarify anything, sorry, microphone, for hitting you. Erling Haaland is 22 years old, but all of these ages I've compiled, they were all 21 when the game came out, when FIFA 23 was released. So that's why Haaland is able to play on this team, even though he's he's not a wonder kid anymore. He's already like a proven potential Ballon d'Or winner. We need another goal. Are we going to get one? Oh my God, finally a save. I, I didn't think there'd be any saves this game with how good these attackers are. To take the lead right before halftime Saka scores it pains me as a Chelsea fan to say that Saka yeah he, he, he's pretty he's pretty good halftime match stats the Premier League have 66 percent possession what Gavi Adri Ansu Fati Gavi nothing happened but I'm gonna keep that clip in just because that commentary was 10 out of 10. seriously Premier League if you guys are hiring new commentators put me in I'm the man for the job next season. And here it is to tie it. It's Fati in the 88th minute. Nah, he just got on inside it. Not going to save the video for La Liga. And that celebration. Oh my God. Yo, this is, this, it, this is what we wanted to see. I'm not backing anyone in this video. I just want to see an insane performance from both sides. And that's what we're getting. 90th minute, one minute of out of time. But I think the whistle's going to blow. And we are going to go to extra time. Unless... Nah, right? Okay, I was going to say, I thought we were going to get some more dramatic, but we're going to extra time. And more specifically, golden goal. Martinelli, the Premier League, to win it. Why don't they ever shoot long shots? Here it is. Saka, Holland, Saka, Golasso. He's just done it. The Premier League win the head-to-head -head matchup in go-ahead to... Mill. And we move on to challenge number three. So we're moving on to the career mode portion of the video, where of course we have both teams in the Champions League. We're going to play through a full season of career mode to see which one can survive longest. And if the Premier League wins this challenge, it's it, it's over. <laughs> and we're assuming till the end of this career mode season to see who will win. As always, we made it to June 2023. We'll see who made it further in the Champions League, but um, before that, I never do this in the series. I want to see some transfer history. The top three chancers are Neymar to Atletico Madrid, Goretzka to United, and Wurtz to Real Madrid. Interesting. Oh, and Jude Bellingham to Juventus. Where is he going in real life? Leave a comment. Or if you're watching this video after Jude Bellingham's already transferred away from Dortmund, um, Hello, people from the future who already know where he's moved. There are the Champions League results. If Man City wins, the video is over. Or if they make it further, I guess we should say. Okay, Barcelona. There are the La Liga Wonder Kids. They won every game and they drew one. And we're looking for Man City, who they actually been grouped. <laughs> Wait, they were going to win the video. <laughs> what? How do you win the first two challenges and then get grouped, especially by those teams? Oh, wait, so V and then Dortmund got grouped too? What is happening? Okay, it doesn't matter where the La Liga Wonder Kids finish. They beat PSG. Maybe they'll just, maybe they'll still win the whole thing. Okay, no, they lose to Real Madrid. But that is challenge number three over. And the results are now two to one. Could the La Liga team be on the comeback? On to challenge number four. All right, you guys know what this is. We are going to penalties for this fourth challenge. Here are the penalty kick takers for both sides. And let's begin. Will the Premier League win the video here? Or will we be going to a fifth leg? Saka's pen is saved. What a start. Rodrigo right down the middle. Oh boy, we're in for a good one. Saka missed Will Holland. Oh my God. Holland missed the Premier actually choking. Nah, they're choking. They're choking. Enzo. 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 Oh, my God. They've 
is three in a row. What is happening? This is the quickest penalty shootout ever. If this is made, we are going to a fifth challenge. It's saved. Oh, they're bringing the drama for this shootout. The Prem has still not made a single pen. Martinelli. Oh, chips it. Why was he go Wait, why would he go for the Panenka there? That takes that takes some big kahunas. Okay, fair play, Martinelli. This is for the win. For La Liga. There it is. We're going to a fifth and final challenge after that round four win. La Liga might be pulling the greatest comeback of all time. And now we are going to challenge number five. And this challenge is a Volta match where the first team to score three goals will win. Here we go. We are playing at one of the craziest football pitches you will ever see. And the lineups have been completely randomized. So here are the League of Wonder kids. They got Rodrigo. I don't really recognize anyone else. And then Premier League. I don't really recognize any of them. All right. Holland and Saka are not competing in the final. This is the craziest part about the fifth leg of these challenges is the lineups are randomized. So your star players may be out. You have to rely on your bench players. Okay. Wait. Maduake. Have we seen no him? I think Garnacho's in there for the Premier League as well. And here comes La Liga. What a save. Oh, God. What a start. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, what just happened? Garnacho. I wasn't compensating because I looked away after the keeper saved it, and then he just throws the ball away. Players have zero IQ in Volta for some reason. La Liga may lose because of that. They fought all this way to come back, and they may lose off of a simple goalkeeper error. Get a second. It's in the Premier Bro, La Liga came all this way, all the way back for nothing. La Liga were already down 2-0 in this video at one point. Let's see if they can come back 2-0 in this game. It's going to be the start. Rodrigo gets one. We're in the second half, and it is 2-1 now. There's no way this happens. If La Liga come back, man, I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to do nothing because they've just, they've just won it. <laughs> that is it for the video. The Premier League Wonder Kids have held off. They made it close, but they end up winning. If you guys enjoyed this video, check to watch the full La Liga versus Premier League All-Star Challenge, where it's not just Wonder Kids, it's everyone. Subscribe for more. Check out Top 11 with the link in the description, and we'll see you guys later.